So guys, a lot of you guys were asking where the GPS, FAR4 GPS stuff is for the Intel Level 3 and also all the other high-tech spawns which is needed for the Light Keeper or the upgrading the hideout such as solar power with the converter thing and also you need some high circuit board was it? And I'll show you where it can spawn. It basically spawns on Latex and also the valuable spawns in labs a lot. Um, let's see. I might miss some part. You guys might comment it on my video where it is. Uh, so it can spawn. See, I already found one. That's the one. That's the current converter thing. It's for the solar power system. Okay, that's the first one. In labs, it just spawns a lot. And then... Okay. There's some spawns here, I'm pretty sure. That, that also means GPS can spawn there. That everybody wants. For solar power, yep. And also I found that here last time where the batch is spawning here. And also I found one here too last time. And also in the weapon testing area. Maybe one for YouTube, yep. Uh, I found one here and the, where the hawk spawns. Scariest map for me. Yeah, me too. But you get used to it if you have a lot of key cards, especially you do a lot of scab ones. So I guess you guys have no clue where it spawns. All right, I'll, I'll I'll show you guys where I know at least. There's one here, here where the roller spawned. There's one here too, batch. So it's basically where the valuable spawns in labs. Uh, we already know it. The Latex spawns and the normal valuable spawns. On top of the safe, I found mine, really? Which which top of the safe? On the dark office here, for me. And the office is on both safes, oh, okay. I know the valuable can spawn up here. I'm pretty sure about that. It also can spawn here, I guess, because Belly will spawn here. But I don't think high tech spawns spawn here, though. So it should be spawning up on these safes, too. Inside the safe, I don't think it's gonna spawn, guys. It's only the loose spawns. I don't think anyone find it in real containers. It was always on the loose spawns, okay? On top of safe, 100%. Gotcha. So those are the ones on that side. And this side, I'm pretty sure, is on the right next to the marine car. <clears throat> Here, but it didn't spawn anything. On that yellow... Um, yeah. Yellow T. And also... One up here. All the way here. Should be spawning here and here. That's all I think on this side. And of course the infamous cat, but before that there's a cat office or oxygen office. Anyways, here. Uh yeah, yeah here. The UC spawns here. I found my far uh far fast forward far forward GPS there. I got it! <laughs> now I need to get out! And there are more valuable spawns on the shelves. What the hell was that? Uh, on the table too, but I don't think the high tech spawns are gonna spawn there. And the infamous cat, let's check. Oh, uh, it did spawn anything this time. It, it could spawn here or here or here. As far as I know, it didn't spawn anything. And also inside Violet, which is gonna be a little bit difficult for the guys who doesn't have the key. But Violet should be like 
7 million to 5 million by now. It's a reasonable price, I think. It should be on this table or on this side. Can be also... I don't think it can be on here because that's the weapon parts spawn. And I don't think these these parts are high valuable spawns. That's only like horse and shitty stuff. Key card spawns to check the desk like here. If you guys are or if you guys are here, why not? You know, check it. Bunch of computers you can loot. Yellow key card spawn here. And see it of course. Yeah, that's about it, as far as I know. Not in the basement, I don't think basement spawns anything. Mm, additional key card spawns here, on this table, and then in one of these sides table. Yeah, that's about it, guys. The extraction guide is really important because all the items, the high-tech spawns, cannot be put on the gamma container, whatever container you have. So, you gotta get the hell out if you get it while not getting killed. So, here we go. So this is the place we call a hangar. If you actually found some GPS or anything good, you can literally get out through here if it's valuable, viable. You can also find the valuable spawn here, but it didn't spawn anything sadly. So if you press this button, that will open, but it will also can spawn raiders, which is kind of risky, I know. But we can get out through the gate if the door opens. But the raider can come out from there. If you guys really want to be safe, I will tell you the perfectly safe exits. And this is the spawn I was about to talk about between these two cars. But sadly, it didn't spawn again anything. So, yeah. If you find the GPS thing, you can literally get out with this side by opening this door. This is the yellow key card's office, but I don't have yellow key card. Which is kind of sad. This is another valuable spawn. I think I found converter here last time. I don't see it. Can open these gates to get out. You can literally get out that through that thing. There should be more exits that are available. I usually, whenever I need something from labs, I usually just go down to basement. If you just go to the first floor and then run around, there's always a way to basement. One way is through this parking lot on this side, not on that side, only this side. Yep. You can go to the basement. And if you press the button, which is not on this side, but this side, there's this broken elevator, which we're not gonna mind. But rather than that, we can press this button, which can also spawn raiders, which is kind of annoying for a guy who wants to get the hell out. But if you go through these doors, it's a little bit safer. Go these doors, and then press this button. This button is the elevator we just uh, activated. Wait for the elevator. And if the elevator comes over, just be careful not to get hit by anyone. If you want to survive with the high-tech spawn you just looted. Now by pressing this button. Or, there's another way, which is the whole, the complete opposite side. But the problem is, the raiders might have spawned by now. And this is the other section. And you can call in the... Um, elevator with this button and above this is actually the server room 
which you can see. Let's press the button first, and then I'll show you what, what how it looks. You can literally go upstairs really easy from here. But if you want to get out, you can press this button. This is the medical block elevator. It was from that button to this button. Wait for the elevator to come. And then press the button inside. That's how you get out. So where this is, is actually below the black car room. Which people call a server room too. As you can see, there's a bunch of servers. Where Nikita runs the EFT servers. And sadly, we don't have high-tech spawn around here though. But there is a black key card room, which is this one. That's the extracts. There are a couple more extracts, um, as far as I know, on this side. After you press the basement button, I'm pretty sure you can extract through one of these elevators. I think it's this one. You can try to get on this elevator if it's turned on, but if you don't, you gotta go all the way down to the basement and turn it on. And also that button spawns more raiders. So I really recommend on this extraction. And then you have to go all the way back up two stairs and then go to the elevator, the cargo elevator. So I don't really recommend on this one. But one trick is that you can only wear a big rig like a Wumka. Which I did last time with the naked run. And you can actually extract through this vent. If you don't have a... No bag. This is really good. Because... Especially for this high-tech spawn. This is the, I think, the best tip though. You don't need a bag. You don't have to wear anything that good. Just almost come in naked. Go for the... Go and check the high-tech spawns. And then loot it and come back down here. Not a lot of people actually check this place. They can be checking this side or this side. Raiders can spawn here too. But you guys don't want to risk your gears or anything. Labs, there's tons of cheaters as you guys always say. And I do agree. So I think just keep it coming in naked. And then grabbing the stuff and then getting out through here is the best way. That's the best tip of this video. There should be several more extracts. Um, sewage conduit, that's really annoying one. You gotta like turn on something and then go to the sewage, wait for some time. I mean, it can be done, but there's a lot more good extracts here. There's no reason to go to sewage conduit. He saw me now. He saw me naked. <laughs> what the f is that? No, I want that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's one of the Lightkeeper task items. I want that out. Fuck. <laughs> can, can you please spare me, dude? <laughs> Is that, is that a raider? <laughs> He's so happy. Gah! So I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna try to get out, okay? Is that guy still in the basement? Dude, what are you doing with in basement? That geared, man. Is he still here? <laughs> 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 
Dude, come on, man. There's like freaking three men in the basement lurking around. Freaking bozos. Why the seven realms, man? Crazy people just running around in the basement. Get a life, go up there, man. <laughs> Is that thing only found in labs? No, I heard it. It can be on freaking interchange and lighthouse, but I I only found them on labs, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. If you want to check out more videos, check out these video lists. There's a uh, informative stuff or the scab stuffs where I live up to my name. Hit that like and subscribe button to support me freely. And also you can actually support me additionally with a Patreon or doing the member or doing the super thanks. I'll see you in the next video.